Professor Al Rajehi was one of thousands of protesters in 2019, but he's donned a suit for his election run, hoping to win with his new party, Entidad. Everything that we have endured in 2019 cannot be reduced to a single party or a political view, so we do not pretend to represent the whole movement, but we embrace its demands and its goals. Since 2019, more than a dozen other political parties have formed to represent the protest movement, and at least three of them have decided to face the powerful traditional blocs in this coming election a daunting, even threatening prospect. One of the main challenges is that of security. We've suffered many types of harassment, especially from other parties, sometimes even in the form of direct threats, by sending someone to force us to give up or to threaten us, assassinations. There's more than 3,000 candidates running in this election, but only 100 represent protest parties, or 200 if we include reformist and independent candidates. These newcomers have significant popular support, but their success at the ballot box is far from guaranteed, according to analysts. They're new, unknown. Uh, many of the candidates might not have necessarily a background in politics. Um, their constituents are also uh, unknown. It's not clear for the protest movement themselves necessarily always where, what the boundaries are for, for their uh, constituents. Another factor that could diminish ballot box returns, an election boycott, called for by many demonstrators and other protest parties. al al-Watani is one of them. According to its members, it is too dangerous to campaign in a country plagued by heavily armed militias. In addition to early elections, we also demanded that there be arms control and that no militia interfere in the elections. And this is not the case. This election is just another one of their shows. As long as the parties supported by militias aren't satisfied with political activities, we can't run candidates or do events with them. Lack of confidence, anger and a sense of hopelessness has led to their rejection of the ballot. But this choice may only further strengthen the established political parties that they wish to overthrow.